A pendulum of mass uppercase M is hanging at the bottom of a massless rod of length L, which has a frictionless pivot at its top end. A mass M, moving as shown with velocity V, impacts M and becomes embedded. What is the smallest value of V sufficient to cause the pendulum, embedded now with mass M, lowercase, to swing clear over the top of its arc? This problem is a form of something that you see pretty often in physics class called the ballistic pendulum. Okay, so it's a version of that. That's just sometimes uh, done with a bullet. Okay, anything where something hanging becomes whacked with something else. Now you have a com compound combined mass which is now going to swing the pendulum. And the methods we're going to use to solve this are pretty consistent with all the other versions of this problem. So you can use this, this result, um, you know, even if the mass is sitting on a track, for instance, okay, and it's going to swing up the loop, something like that, or even if it's just on a table. What we're about to do applies. So before we move on, we're going to have a quick lesson. In your physics class that most will be forced to take, the level that most will be responsible for, there are two types of collisions, perfectly elastic and perfectly inelastic. By collision, I'm talking about something like we're seeing here. One object whacks another object. In elastic collisions, stuff bounces off perfectly. In those cases, energy is conserved and you can use conservation of energy to solve the problem. In those cases, momentum is also conserved, and you can also use conservation of momentum, which is usually simpler, but in the harder problems, you have to use both methods to find the initial final velocities, things like that. There are also inelastic collisions. Stuff sticks together. They do not bounce off each other. Energy is not conserved in these situations and you cannot use conservation of energy methods to find initial and final velocities, but you can use momentum. The moral of the story is that in both cases momentum is conserved, which makes it seem, at least at this level of physics, that you can always rely on momentum to be helpful. Let us say that the momentum initially is equal to the momentum finally, where initially refers to before collision, and finally refers to immediately after collision. Let's also specify that momentum is a vector and that we're going to be talking about the momentum in the x direction. Currently, this mass is moving in the x direction. We have the momentum of two objects to consider when we consider the initial and final momentum. The definition of momentum, I'll remind you, is simply mass times velocity. So we have a lowercase m and its velocity, where the lowercase m is known, and the velocity v is exactly what we've been asked to find. We need to find a smallest value of V sufficient to cause the pendulum to swing clear over the top, but we'll get to that in a second. We add that to the momentum of the larger mass, the pendulum, but the thing is that his velocity is currently zero. We set this equal to the final momentum, where we understand that if they are now stuck together, they may as well be one object whose mass is lowercase m plus uppercase m, and whose velocity, we'll call it uppercase v, is also unknown. This is the end of the line for this method for now. We've got two unknowns. The, sl the smaller lowercase v that we need to find is related, obviously, to the uppercase v that the two masses have in the x direction immediately after the collision. And it's that velocity that's going to determine how high this goes. We need it to go all the way to the top. But the good news is that once they've made contact, there's no more collisions to think about. We don't have to categorize it one way or another. It's a smooth motion from here 
to here. And we're going to use energy methods to talk about that because we're starting with some velocity and we are ending with some height at least okay if we run out of kinetic energy by the end of that process because energy is a state variable i don't care that we technically took a curved path up to the top of this loop so the initial mechanical energy is equal to the final mechanical energy where now my initial and final states represent the bottom and top of this loop what kind of energy is involved in the system in this initial case? We have just started moving at a location which we will call height of zero. So we have kinetic energy. My initial kinetic energy is equal to what kind of energy is present at the top of the loop? Well, if I've just barely made it, then we might as well have no velocity at all but we have gained height. So all of the kinetic energy has been converted into potential energy of the final state. The definition of kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, but the mass we are talking about is the compound m plus m. The v we're talking about is the uppercase v we mentioned before, the velocity it gets after the smaller mass collides. This is equal to the potential energy at the top, whose definition is mgh. Once again, our mass is really m plus uppercase m. Our g is g, but our height appears to be two widths of this pendulum. The diameter of the circle it's making, if you will. So we use 2l for the height. Turns out we don't need these masses, they cancel out. We have v squared over 2 is equal to 2lg. We can multiply both sides by 2, yielding v squared equals 4lg. And we can take the square root of both sides, where we say that v is equal to the square root of 4lg, which even further simplifies to 2 square root lg by pulling the 4 out of the radical. This is the desired variable that we needed highlighted in green over here. We're now ready to complete the problem because we can express the small v minimum in terms of the minimum large v that this mass combined needs to reach the top of the loop. So let's write what we have. We zeroed this out. We have lowercase mv equals m plus m. Now in for v comes 2 rad l g. And dividing both sides by the lowercase m, we have that the desired velocity for the smaller mass is 2 m plus m root l g over lowercase m.